today you're gonna learn how to do this car stack effect in DaVinci Resolve. You can do it in the free version and the studio version, and it's actually really easy to do. So here we have the clip where we're gonna do the effect on. Now, if you wanna do some speed ramps and stuff, you can do that beforehand or after the fact. If you wanna see how to do that, check out the video that I link at the end of this video. So with this clip selected, what we're gonna to wanna to do is right click and select new fusion clip. Go into fusion. With the media in one selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in magic mask. Now, if you have the free version, unfortunately, you will have to do this by hand. But if you have the studio version, all you have to do is select the car, select better, and then track back and forth. Now, if you have the free version, you will have to get a polygon mask in place of the magic mask here. And you're gonna have to mask out the car essentially by hand. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, so buy the studio version. Once the magic mask has done its magic, add a merge node after the magic mask. Then connect the output of the media in one to that merge node. With that merge node selected, hold down Command or Alt on your keyboard and push T to swap the inputs. We wanna put the masked layer on top of the background, which is the car without the masked out Tesla. Sorry if that's confusing. So with the magic mask selected, hold down Shift and press spacebar and type in duplicate. Add the duplicate node. Over on the right hand side, type in five where it says two. We're gonna have five copies. You don't wanna do 5.5 or 6.7. You wanna have just straight up single digit numbers. Come to the beginning of the clip, play it for a second. Then over here on the right hand side, select the keyframe next to the angle. Then play it for a little bit more, then turn the angle up, move the playhead through the timeline a little bit further, and then select this little dot on the angle to bring it back to zero. Then select the spline. Select duplicate, and then select all of the points and push S on your keyboard to smooth them out. Now we get something that looks like that. Now by default, this is just where it's rotating. So if you wanna move the rotation of the car, come to the point where the effect is in full effect. And then on the right hand side, you can pull the pivot down and move this to basically wherever you want. So if you want the car to spring up that direction or come towards the camera, you can do anything you want. You can also reverse the angle of which this is rotating out. So if you want the car to rotate underneath, you would just pull this point up like this and make it come down like that. Let's go ahead and close the spline. Now with the duplicate node selected, let's add a little bit of sauce. Come over here to the right hand side under settings, select settings. Then come down to where it says motion blur and let's crank that motion blur up because that's just how we do it. You can use this on anything that you want. It doesn't have to be a car, but it looks really cool when you do use it on a car. And that is how you do the car stack effect in DaVinci Resolve.